In this quick tip, we're going to look at two methods for setting up delay throws for some vocal ear candy. For method one, we're going to go to our lead vocal here, come across to our sends, send to a new track, let's call it vocal delay throw. Make sure it's stereo and an auxiliary input. Next, we're going to go ahead and insert a delay plugin. I'm going to want a little bit less feedback, make sure it's 100% wet, and let's go ahead and make it a half note delay. So let's hear it. It's my fault, it's my fault, it's no clear, no clear. Next, for the effect I'm looking for, I'm going to add just a little bit of reverb. For this, I'm going to make it about 33% wet. It's my fault, it's my fault. Next thing we want to do is automate this so that it only comes on on the words that we want delayed. Come across here to where it says waveform, click on that, go down to vocal delay throw, click on mute, and then hold the command key and click on the send to mute it as a starting point. Now we can go ahead and automate the delay on or off using the mute automation. For example, it's my fault, it's my fault, it's no cliche, it's not yo, not yo. Started... To duplicate this effect on other vocal channels, you can simply hold Option and drag this send to another channel. Here, for example, if we wanted to delay this line of the chorus, we would go in again, vocal delay throw, mute, and we would just unmute it for that line of the chorus. And that's it. Try it on your next project. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe for part two.